This is Captain Soban of the fleet, Farron Shaw. We have arrived in Sector 112 and request targeting data. Hello everyone, this is Captain Soban. Welcome aboard to Starship and Norma Prize for another episode of Homeworld FX Galaxy. We are still playing that Vagar mini com campaign. So that was hilarious. The last episode, we made it through, but we didn't because we died from all the destroyers. So I guess what I have to do is... Um, I just have to send all of our bombers out to disable the engines of the destroyers, and then whatever reinforcements comes in will um, help us. So let's go back here. Um, let's build ourselves a couple more assault uh, fighters, because we are going to need them. We lost contact with our fighters, our scouts, and hopefully, because I think that's all we have to do, we have to wait until those reinforcements come in, use the reinforcements to wipe them out, and then we win the campaign. Uh, slow them about them any means possible, send out the distress signal. So we are back at the point where we met the heavy cruiser. I finally figured out which one was my autosave. So yay. And also, disclaimer, the heater is still running in the background. This is still the same day where it was really, really cold out. Okay, um, so let's make sure we have all of our assault craft. Standing by. Are all of you assault craft? Oh, you are. Group 1 reinforced. So you guys get up here. Evasive. Interceptor squadron complete. Acknowledged. Group one reinforced. Everyone evasive. Kill as many of these fighters as you possibly can. Ready. Bomber, you stay here. locked in. Assume combat stations. Group two designated. I'm going to designate probably three of these bombers to disable the heavy cruiser's uh, ion engines. Or not ion, ion engines, yeah. i um, thinking space engineers again. Um, engines. Okay, cool. Group 1 is doing a lot better. So, get going. We'll use you two. The rest are going to be used to stable Ready. the ion Strike frigates. For for duty. Bomber squadron but I want to disable. There he is. Friendly's under fire. Moving in. Subsystem target Disable fire. his engines. Responding. Aggressive. Standing by. Aggressive. Yeah, let's do it. Now the rest of the bombers that are being built are going to be used to destroy these ion cannon frigates. Now, can our harvesters repair? Bombers no, they can't. Complete. Don't have the repair ability. Roger. All right, cool. Strike group to battle position. So heavy cruiser Strike is disabled. Prepare for assault. Awaiting order. Strike group, prepare for assault. There we go. Reporting. Strike group and now you guys work on killing the ion cannon frigate, please. Good. Attacking capital ship. Now continue attacking him. Roger. Now, so I can get these going a little bit easier. Receiving. Me a couple of these. Group three designated. Put these in group Waiting two. Order. His engines are still disabled. Group two assigned. Group three copies. Group three standing by. Wait. Awaiting orders. You, Almost you, group three. Complete. Responding. Group three you assigned. standing by. And where is the other one? You. I said you. Nope. Ah! Give me the freaking chips. You're, whatever. Never mind. What I want to do is it's completely BS. You get over here and help out. Engage capital ship. Attention. I was trying to put our. Oh god, guys. Uh, make sure that engine stays disabled. System attack confirmed. We don't want the heavy cruiser to actually be attacking our carrier. Group two. Group three. Group four. No! I know you're doing a cinematic. Oh, God, freaking, I don't care. I know what's gonna happen. Disable their engines. Getting banged around here. Awaiting assignment. Group 
two defeated. Strike group under enemy attack. Here we go. Receiving subsystem. There we go. Required. Resource operation reporting enemy contact. Now these three got too close. Under attack. What's the call? Strike group receiving fire. I was able to disable two of them. Hang in there. Come on. Woo, we made it this time. Additional contacts have been detected near the enemy fleet. Like likely reinforcements. All hands, stand by for emergency evacuation. Mayday, mayday, mayday. Warriors of the Tidan fringes. Oh my. Your era has only ceased. The rise of the stuff. Wait, did my ship die again? Dang it. <laughs> Uh, it is very difficult. Capital ship locked in. All right, here we go. Group two. There we go. I got them all. Hopefully, we can get their engines disabled. Understand we can only pray to our reinforcements that came out. All hands prepare to evacuate at maximum speed, secure the important data, and ready to move out at full burn. Okay. Hopefully this works. Strike group reports hostile contact. Drawing heavy fire. Alright, hang in there. This is group one. I've taken a hit. Why are you doing like no? Why are you actually physically attacking? I thought I told all of you guys to hit the engines. Dang it! There we go. Subsystem attack confirmed. Strike group receiving fire. There we go. I got one. That's what I'm talking about. The one that's in range. He got in range. Cool. Target acquired. Cool. Only two got in range this time. Maybe we'll actually get through it. Additional contacts have been detected near the enemy fleet. The reinforcements, all hands, stand by. Here comes Makan. Warriors of the Tidan fringes. Your era has already since ceased. The rise of the Vagar's eminence. Render to me now or face annihilation. The power of the ancients are now under my control. The new dawn of the galaxy is at hand. Join me in conquest or fade from history by my hands. I am a Khan. I am the Saju Kar. My ship just blew up. <laughs> God dang it, Makan. Why do you take so long to do your intro? <laughs> This is the ancient warship our, le our leader received from the Hytrum ice fields. Abandon all hope, the Armageddon. We must seize the chance, all units reverse. Uh, the arrival of the Armageddon has shifted the battle in our favor. We am have also received what word and for read of the are inbound. <laughs> Reforce <laughs> regroup our forces and make sure that our carrier and the command ship stay alive. A large Titan fleet has just emerged from hyperspace near the Arganum's Ar Armageddon's left flank. Holy crap, that's a big fleet. That's a lot of battle cruisers. I'm still alive. Barely, but I am still alive. Group two copies. Engage capital ship. Okay. Now what's going on? Second Titan fleet emerging at the Armageddon's right flank. Makan has been surrounded. Okay. This is mission control. We are reading a hyperspace signal right next to us. Something is warping in. Two Titan carriers with escorts have just exited from hyperspace near the command station. Launch sequences detected. Scramble defenders. Okay, the Titan are not holding anything back. Uh, although surrounded, the Armageddon seems to be holding itself. Redirect all available forces to protect the command station. Its survival is now our priority. Falcon, no! Ignore us! Protect our leader! Haha, <laughs> we have some stuff going on. Um, I want to protect myself for now. Oh my god. This thing is amazing. Dude, this thing is amazing! 
This reminds me of the Nagarok off of uh, Cataclysm. Just beaming all over the place. Now what's going on? This is Garrison Fleet V-74C. We received your distress call and returned as soon as our enemy engines could take us. Situation seems to be dire. Yeah, no great kidding. All crew, battle stations. Okay, so we have a carrier down here helping the command station. Good to have you, V-74C. You've arrived just in time. But this battle is freaking amazing. Why can't we build this thing in Skirmish? I mean, I can understand why I'd be overpowered. Sixth Fleet of the Makan Protectorate entering your area. All units secure the perimeter. Copy. All right, bombers. We did our job. Reporting. Um. Group one designated. Uh, how are we doing back here? I have a, a lot of bombers. Let's use them to help out. Engage capital ship. Let's help Makan. I'm sure he can handle it, but this will probably help him out. There's <laughs> so many beams. He also has a couple giant turrets on this thing. All right, the command station's still doing pretty good. Oop, what's going on now? More reinforcements. This is Macon Protectorant Second Fleet. We have arrived. Readings are stable. All strike craft proceed with launch. Okay, so they brought reinforcements up here too. We brought a bunch of bombers. Are we helpful yet? Are we helpful in this giant massive bee war going on around here? This would be so scary to be like a little fighter bomber going around with this much firepower flying around. Yep, all you guys focus on damage. They don't really have anything that's going to hurt you, so you don't need to use your speed. Good gravy. I think this is probably my favorite campaign, just because Makan comes in with a giant OP ship. I love it. Alright, so they look like they're handling it. They are bringing a bunch of interceptors in, which we are going to bring down here. Enemy contact. We <laughs> we don't have any fighters anymore. We turned them all into bombers. Run, Group One. Strike group moving into position. Oh, evasive. Use your speed. Under enemy attack. Strike group coordinates locked in. I'm taking hits here. Taking damage. Construction underway. Group One report. There we go. I forget when I minimize uh, Homeworld, it doesn't like it, it messes up my recording. I hit the Windows button instead of the Alt button on accident. But we're gonna lose all of our bombers, which kinda sucks. But, not much I can do! They're not good against those types. Alright, get rid of these interceptors. Please make sure we don't lose our carrier. That would be extremely... Oh god. There's a lot of interceptors coming in now. Makan is protected, which is good. Group 1. Take care of these. There we go. Luckily, assault crafts build pretty quickly. And none of these are bombers, so I don't have to worry about them actually killing my carrier. <laughs> Alright, let's, let's get over here for you. Makan's uh, fighters are coming, or bombers are coming in to help me. <laughs> How are we doing down here? I don't really have a fleet at the moment that can actually help out. Still doing pretty good. I think we just have a bunch of fighters. We have this one carrier down here to keep spitting out fighters. Alright, get rid of these interceptors. There we go. 
Let's get a couple more squadrons of fighters. Probably build up to five. They do keep sending out fighter squadrons to me. Because they do... Oh, that carrier is dead. They have this carrier, which looks like our uh, Makan's uh, fighters and bomber reinforcements are coming in to take care of them. But again, <laughs> this ship is amazing. I really like this ship. It, it really reminds me, and it even says Armageddon on it, that's awesome. It reminds me of, um, um, of Nanagarok from Cataclysm, from all the beamers going on, and the fact it's really overpowered. Okay, so we got five of them made now, so let's go on out, help out our ally, because his health is definitely getting low. We cannot lose this, we lose this, we lose the game. We are slowly killing the enemy carrier. So that's good. So let's go evasive so we can move a little bit faster. Enemy carrier is destroyed, so now we all have left are these bombers that are attacking our command station. This was a fun campaign. This was a, a really, really interesting one. So. So far, I do have to say, I already said this earlier in the last episode, but all the four campaigns that I currently have available as of this video going up on YouTube, um, they've all been pretty good. They've all been different in their own way, but they've all been really fun to play. This one's probably my favorite because it was the most chaotic. Well, other than the one where you have to defend all the RUs. That one just matches my playstyle a lot better. Alright, we can actually kill these guys in time. Please tell me we can. We're almost here. <laughs> oh my god. Am I actually going to lose because like a couple of these bombers? Come on. We're so close. Okay, good. They only have a couple more attack bombers. We should be good. And I only have like two, three left. One left. Yay! Unbelievable. Lord Makan has annihilated the entire enemy fleet all by himself. He truly is the Sajukar. Hey, I helped. I helped with that fight. Don't blame it all on Makan, even though he had an amazing ship. I still helped with that battle. Mission complete. We did it! We beat it! We beat that campaign. That was a fun one. I enjoyed that. So yeah. Well anyways guys, I'm gonna go ahead and end this episode. I hope you enjoyed that um that little mini series. And um the next episode we will continue down the shimmering path. I think what I wanna do I prob I want to get through one or two of these at a time, unless it's really, really long like the last one was. Then we'll do one and then do something else. So we're probably going to get through no um, mission number 18, mission number 19, and then we might try the legendary fleet. I have never tried this before. Um, it's a survival mode. Control the entire 9CCN fleet in an epic battle against enemies past and present as you attempt to escape the giant chromo chrono space storm. Sounds awesome. Can't wait to try it out. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this. Please leave a like if you did. If you like what I do, consider subscribing, and I will check you guys out in the next video. Until then, this is Captain Sobon signing out. Attention fleet. Makan has found Valcora Gate. The coordinates are 1134489 or 0. We'll send everything we've got, but be advised, we are a mining vessel. It would be best if we did not have to move directly into the main battle.